Ravens versus Browns. The final round, probably. Let's get ready to rumble. This is going to be good. These Browns, they're not the same Browns from that week one. The Ravens got them. 38-6. These ain't them same Browns. These boys has been balling. Baker Mayfield has not threw the interception since playing a division opponent. He's actually been playing better since OBJ been out. That's not good signs for that. That's going to be an interesting offseason with that. Jarvis Landry, I always respected Jarvis Landry because he has that dog. Even though he's, he, he, you know, been whining a little bit about uh, my boy MP Juice, man, Marcus Peters, calling him and OBJ, you know, homegirls and girlfriends and stuff like that. Man, it's, come on now. You let that little thing bother you, man. Just, you blah, I blah. You know what? All right. Say that. Say that. I'll show you on the field. That's that's how I always been. But, man. Then one of the second problems I believe the Ravens going to have is Miles Garrett. I'm going to get to that first problem. You already know that first problem is. We know. Miles Garrett. That dude got 10.5 sacks. Man, he's been balling. You know, he's from my home state, Texas, too. Just, just represent Texas. But, man, dude's been balling. Mm, mm, mm. Offensive line going to have their hands full with this dude. He's on another level. They even putting him up there with MVP with T.J. Watt. For defensive uh, player of the year. I say MVP. Defensive player of the year. Man. Mm -mm -mm. Then the number one problem. Nick Chubb. And you know what? It's so crazy about that. Nick Chubb, he, man, people don't, he still don't get his respect. Even when he came in the league, he didn't get his respect. I remember seeing a video. He was in the airport or something like that. He had cameras following him. Also. And somebody walked up to him. He was out there in Cleveland. And they walked up to him. And they was like, why you got so many cameras following you? And I'm like, what? The? What? Man, I would have been like, say, bro, what's good? Even though you my rival, what's good, man? I respect you. Focus that a little bit. I, mean, I respect you. But that's crazy. A lot of people still don't do, give this dude respect. I don't even see a lot of football analysts bring his name up they always bring up baker that's on like 3500 commercials they always bring up i can understand landry or you know they bring up obj but they don't bring up chubb a lot to me he is that offense like he's the offense kind of like a titans thing with derrick henry is the offense ravens play him play the Browns, we got concentrating on Chubb first. Yeah, he he done did his end before. Now, the last game where we, we played in week one, he didn't do nothing. But that's week one. That's like, that's so long ago. So, so many things has changed now. It's on another level. But, ball, Raven fans, man, we got our hands full. 
Landry, Higgins, Chubb, Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt been doing this little thing. He's been doing his thing too. 739 yards. Nick Chubb, 799 yards. You know, Nick Chubb missed a few games too, but that show you how good Nick Chubb is if Kareem Hunt still didn't catch him. But hopefully, Baker can, uh, you know, throw a little something, something to the defense so we can uh, get that interception. But the stats, and I'm, don't don't quote me on this now. I'm, I'm doing this off the NFL. Russian Ravens number one. That's a gimme. You know, I believe they could they gonna they can keep that when they fire Greg Roman in the off season. Hopefully, put them. Russian number one. Russian for the Browns is third. Identical. Now this will surprise me. Not the Ravens pass in 32nd. We, we, we really don't have that much for an elite wide receiver. We got to get a veteran. But passing 27th? For the Browns? They really kind of surprised me. I'm like, man, this dude got some weapons. But, but then again, and I think about it, they do like tote that rock a lot, so... I don't know no team that can be in the top five for us rushing in the top five or even top ten for passing. Passing and rushing. I wonder if a team does is like that. I don't know. I don't know. Even Kansas City, they don't rush like that with Mahomes back there. But this is the good thing. Kind of. About this game is for the Ravens. We this really both teams we have to both teams have to win. It's, <laughs> it's so important for both teams. But the Ravens rushing defense, to in my opinion, has improved. Cause Derek Wolf beast him. Shout out to Engraver. I did not see this on Twitter. But thanks to his update, they are trying to extend him. And I 100% agree. This dude has been playing on another level. He is, like Brandon Williams said, he is hunting. So good. He is so good. Like, from the people we picked up this offseason free agency, I would put him... Hmm. Yeah, I put him number one. Yeah, I put him number one. Because Calais has been injured, but he's been doing his thing. But I put him one. It wasn't a healthy Calais out there. I put him one B. But, man, he's been shutting that. I've been seeing him in the backfield. Like, they say Hood, he's in the backfield. Getting his nada on. Now, I ain't saying he nada. But he doing his thing. The Browns defense has a weakness for the wide receivers, and the Ravens has a weakness in the wide receivers. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> That's crazy. I seen some analysts talking about, yeah, the Browns defensive uh, backs, safeties, and all of that. They're weak back there. The Ravens can do something with it. Hey, we ain't got no wide receivers really to do, do anything with it. Hollywood's still trying to find himself. Boykin's going to move the tight end in the offseason. Willie Sneed is back, but every time he catch the ball, I just, the way he just carries it, I always think he's going he gonna to fumble, man. Cause he, he's going like this. That ball just be somewhat instead of tucking it like this while just running, he. Uh, yeah. I'm like, dude, you swinging the arm with the football right there, like, ooh, that be getting me nervous, man. But it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a close, close game. Browns are on another level. The Ravens are trying to get their win streak back going. 
The show ain't gonna be no 38 to 6. I'll tell you that from like the first week. I'll go with Ravens, 35. Browns, 28. I believe defense is gonna really have to step up. I wonder who's gonna be on Higgins. They probably put MP Juice Man. No, I probably put MP Juice Man on Higgins and then put uh, Marlon on Landry. So, y'all tell me what y'all think. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Everybody stay safe. God bless.